I had one or two people comment in the last few videos about the fact that in several of my videos I cover very similar topics. So I have these videos, should you learn C++, should you learn Java, should you learn Python, etc, etc, etc. And some, of, some people are saying, complaining that I talk about the same things over and over again. And there's some truth to that. Yes, my basic philosophy about if you will learn one language, you can jump to the other, look at the job market, etc., etc. This is true. So why do I put out the same message over and over again? Well, the reason I put out a similar or a very similar message over and over again, I don't know what percentage of my videos they are in, maybe 10%, it's hard to say. I got 1,300 videos, so there's a small percentage really that cover this topic. But why do I do it? Well, because not everybody is you. Not everybody is watching all of my videos. And what I'm trying to do with those videos is bring in an audience. A lot of people out there who are new to programming, they're interested in Python or they're interested in C Sharp. So they're searching for those subjects. And as a result, I put out those types of videos to, to, to attract their attention. So some of my videos are targeted at people who are brand new to my channel. And some of my videos are targeted at uh, the old school listeners. Now, in fact, if you look at my um, views on a per video basis, you'll see that my highly detailed view, uh, excuse me, my highly detailed videos, where, for example, I show how objects are created in whatever, six languages. That, that video only got a few thousand views, nothing. Or I did another video a while back on um, refactoring of code, where I show actual code, I show how I refactor code. At, well, I don't know if I did it in JavaScript or I did it in Java, or maybe I did it in PHP, I don't know. Point is, those type of deep dive videos, I find don't get me a lot of views. So for me, YouTube, as, as it is as much a hobby for me, it's also a way for me to build an audience. So if you want deep dive explanation in terms of programmatic fun fundamentals, that's where my interactive courses come in. Shameless plug, links below. If you're serious about learning, if you want to learn very quickly, that's where I provide that. If I was getting a huge amount of views or good views with deep dive technical videos, I would do more of that uh, on YouTube. That being said, um, what I do cover where other channels don't cover is my perspective about different languages and different software from somebody who's been doing this for over two decades and more importantly perhaps somebody who's been an entrepreneur for even longer. So when I look at all these languages, to me they're all just tools for me to express any business ideas I have. So you get the perspective of not only a highly experienced developer, but also somebody who understands these technologies, these languages from the point of view of business and from the decision maker. This is very important because at the end of the day, all these languages that we use, they're all used to either make money or save money depending on the particular implementation. So there you go. That's why you'll see I will do videos, should you learn this, should you learn that, where I cover the basic philosophy that I, uh, I put out there, and I think I'm one of the only people who, put that, who puts that out there on the web in terms of the need to, to nerd philosophy. Doesn't matter really what language you learn, you can pivot pretty easily, you consider job markets, you can consider your broader ed education, because that impacts the type of language that you're gonna learn and whether or not you're gonna get jobs or whether you're gonna produce code with it or not, depending on what you wanna do. Blah, blah, I'm not gonna get into it here, but uh, there you have it, buddy. That's it. Bye.